With the very first Senate vote on financial reform slated for Monday, and with Republicans still threatening to filibuster, expect over the weekend to hear a lot of speculation about what's going to happen with that vote. Because that's what's happening on the surface of the Republican versus Democrat Washington fight on Wall Street reform. Underneath that surface, though, things are way more interesting than that. And by interesting, I mean gross. Do you remember Rick Berman? We've talked a lot about him on the show. We had him here as a guest. He's the guy who refuses to name whoever's, uh, whoever's funding him. But he's made a career of setting up websites like fishscam.com, which makes the case that mercury in fish really isn't actually bad for you. Uh, or sunlightscam.com, which says that tanning beds are good for you. Or transfatfacts.com. This one's my favorite. It says trans fats actually unclog your arteries. Nurse, get that patient a deep fried Twinkie stat. Rick Berman is the king of this stuff. He's the guy who will take money from anyone to try to muddy the waters and confuse all the facts to keep Americans buying things that are going to kill them. He loves to go after watchdog groups in particular to try to discredit them and harass them. It looks like his newest campaign is actually trying to smear the humane society of all things. Yeah. Uh, one of Rick Berman's all but patented techniques is creating a fake organization that uses almost exactly the same name as a legitimate organization. And then you use the fake one to attack the real one. It's, a, it's deliberate confusion. Here's how it works. Take, for example, the, the Center for Science in the Public Interest, CSPI, CISPI. It's, it's a nonprofit that focuses on healthy eating and food safety. Their main website is cispinet.org. Their website for kids is smartmouth.org. Rick Berman's front group for the food and beverage industry a couple of years ago bought a couple of domain names. Instead of cispinet.org, the real website, Berman bought cispinet.com. And instead of the real website, smartmouth.org, with a hyphen between smart and mouth, Rick Berman bought smartmouth.org without the hyphen. So if you were looking for CISPI or their kids' site and you typed in .com instead of .org, Rick would get you to go to an anti-CISPI website, all about how evil CISPI is. The CISPI kids' website, where they caught you if you forgot to type in the hyphen, that would redirect you elsewhere as well. It's, it's pure Rick Berman. You use similar names, the same acronyms if you can, and you use the same ones as the group that you're attacking. It's deliberately confusing, it muddies the waters, confuses people. It uses the good name and reputation of a reputable group to smear people, smear those groups and, and, and confuse people about those groups. That tactic, that patented Rick Berman tactic is being used right now to try to stop Wall Street reform. I want to introduce you to CRL, the Consumer Rights League. Sounds good, right? Consumers with rights having a league? Sounds great. That group founded in 2007, Consumer Rights League, CRL. CRL, also the acronym for the Center for Responsible Lending, founded nearly 30 years ago. They're a real consumer rights group associated with a rural credit union in North Carolina. They advocate against abusive financial practices like unauthorized overdrafts and payday lending. So there's the Center for Responsible Lending, which is a long-standing real consumer rights group. And then there's this new group with the exact same acronym, Consumer Rights League. And they're now organizing protests against the real group. Earlier this week, a bunch of protesters showed up at the Center for Responsible Lending's headquarters in Durham, North Carolina. They accused the group vaguely of corruption, although the protesters didn't seem to know too much about what the corruption was about. The protest was based on claims made by this other group with a very similar name. This other group with a very similar name, right? Consumer Rights League. They were founded just a few years ago. For a time, they, they shared office space with Dick Armey's corporate-funded group, FreedomWorks. Like Freedom Works and Americans for Prosperity and all the Rick Berman groups, the Consumer Rights League won't say who funds them, though they did admit a few months ago to Roll Call newspaper that they are at least in part funded by the financial industry. You're kidding. The board of directors of the Consumer Rights League, when they were founded, included the wife of the president of Freedom Works, who is a Republican fundraiser, uh, as well as a banking lobbyist. But now this group is hoping to confuse you. So they're hoping that if you go looking for that group, what was that group, CRL? CRL that had all that good information about Wall Street reform and payday lenders? They're hoping you might instead stumble on the other CRL who's against Wall Street reform, who's all for payday lenders, and who, by the way, says those pinko commie pro-reform groups are all corrupt and horrible and don't believe them. As Wall Street reform really gets going now, 
watch for the corporate funded fake activist groups and the right wing media that loves them to really start screaming about this stuff throughout the echo chamber. Here's my favorite detail of this whole story. The former president of this fake group, the Consumer Rights League, Michael Flynn, want to know what he does now? He's the editor in chief of BigGovernment.com, the right wing Andrew Breitbart website, which is eagerly promoting the protests against the real CRL. Michael Flynn also used to be a lobbyist, naturally, with Rick Berman, the guy who invented bamboozling schemes like this in the first place. So the next time some group you've never heard of before shares the same acronym as a well-known consumer group and seems to be pushing the exact opposite agenda as that group, don't be confused. Google them, and Google them good. These AstroTurf guys are pros. They think they can fool you. They think you're dumb. You're not dumb. They can't fool you, not if you don't let them.